Hey guys, it's Doc, and guess what we're doing today? I'm gonna show you how to fix bald spots and weak spots in your lawn, so hold on one sec. Hey guys, it's Doc, and guess what I'm gonna show you today? I'm gonna show you my bald spot. Uh, actually not. <laughs> I'm going to show you bald spots and weak spots in my lawn and this is a great time of the year to do this and identify this. But this is a great time of the year and you can do this in any time. You can do this in the summer, you can do it during uh, droughts, you can do it during real hot periods. You'll start to see these weak spots come up. And let us let me grab the camera and let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so you can see this area down in here. It's absolutely gorgeous, of course. This is wonderful part of the world's greatest Bermuda lawn. Applause, please. Thank you. But um, I have weak areas in the majority of homes. In the majority of homes, you'll find these weak areas wherever you have construction debris. So let me give you an example. Near your house. This is our house and it slopes down here and it slopes back up to the pool. And you can see the further we get away from the house, the more gorgeous the lawn looks. And that's because every time we dig, my sprinkler guy was out here last week and pulled up two bricks when he started digging. Look at this. This is where it struggles. And I've talked about this before. If you start, when you start aerating, punching holes in here, there's going to be rocks and all kinds of construction debris down in here. Without going in here and digging this up, let me show you how I treat this. Really, the only way is to top dress it, but I'm gonna spot top dress this, and let me show you how I'm gonna do that. You might hear a lot of people that say use sand to level your, that's wrong. You, you, wanna, use, um, you wanna use a mix. Typically when you're leveling, it's about 25% organic or 50% organic and 50% um, sand. You don't wanna put straight sand. So, what I do is I wait for stuff to go on sale and I like to buy potting mix. And let me explain why I buy potting mix. Potting mix is usually a very fine grain. There usually is not any bark inside of it or big pieces. It's actually screened. So potting mix works really well for this. You don't have to go back and rake all that crap up. Next, you want this sand here. Let me get a handful of it. This is my last bag. See if I can get some of it in here. This is, um, you don't want sand with rocks in it. This is very fine. This is very fine white all purpose sand. It can be used, it says right on it, for construction, for landscapes, for whatever you want. So it's just all purpose, very fine, kind of a white sand. All right, ratios. The ratios that you're going to use is you're going to use um, almost a two to one. It's a, almost backwards. So you're going to put two bags of potting soil and one bag of sand. Because what we're trying to do is, we're not just trying to put height on this through sand. We're trying to add organic matter on top of the area that doesn't have any organic matter. That's typically what we find. I also, in one of my older videos, I showed me taking clippings from like areas down in here and actually dumping and spreading those clippings to add more thatch onto weaker areas like over there. So you can do that too. Take your clippings from the strong areas and add it on top and add more organic matter that way. So I'll be doing that this year too. But it's a constant battle, it takes forever. So let me show you how I do this. The first thing I do is I wait until the sun starts to go down so it's cool. And then I just mix this up. You can see the mixture here. Now this is, again, two parts parting, potting soil and one part fine sand. Now, the way that I apply this, I walk around with a shovel, but obviously I can't hold a shovel. And I'm gonna look for a weak area. So I go around and I look for a weak area. Let me find one for you. All right, so there's a weak area. You see that weak area? Basically, I don't see anything but a little bit of grass and a little bit of dirt. And what I do is I hold this up high and I just sprinkle it on there. And that's all I do. I don't really do anything else. So now it just settles in there nicely. The blades of grass can actually show through there and grow through there. But now I'm adding organic matter and sand on top of it. Hello, Jack Russell. <laughs> so let me show you the areas I'm working on here. 
So you can see again, there's a patio here, which means a lot of construction debris under here. <laughs> this is full of rocks. And you can see all these weak areas that I have to address. Again, they sort of, they come down the hill, weak areas, construction, and then it's like, okay, everything's good. No weak areas down in here. No weak areas down in here. So I'm having to go through here and do this, and it doesn't take much. Now, I've, I've done this. Let me show you what I've done. So I've done this whole area, spotting it, including some areas over here. I've done this whole big area, and I'm, and I'm starting on the other side. And that's just with two bags of the potting mix and one bag of sand. And I've still got probably, oh, about half of it left. So I'm probably gonna be able to finish this whole area just with those two, with three bags, two potting soils and one sand. So it's not a real expensive thing. It's not like you have to have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of bags delivered to your house. It's actually pretty easy to do yourself. This is also, this is also one of those projects um, that you can do little by little, you know, every night come out here you're tired of being inside and you need to want something just to do for the heck of it just come out here and uh and just sprinkle it around but this is the best way let me show you an area i did last year so last year i did a video and there were a bunch of bare spots over here down in this area and you can see what has happened to this area it has really filled in nicely i mean look at this look at that grass in there absolutely gorgeous and there were a lot of bare spots in here pretty good huh oh that's nice again ton of bare spots and weak spots all through here all through there there were a bunch of them now they're all gone again another issue you'll find look at that big old tree and guess what's over here tree roots um i'm dealing i just I was planting these trees. I did a video where I planted these trees a couple of weeks ago, and I just threw some of the excess material, clay crap and whatever mixture, I just threw it over here. You can see anytime I have any vegetation, I'll just throw it on here, just to build up the organic matter on top of this, because now I've got roots on, as well as rocks down here. So I'm gonna come back and treat this area too. But that really, if you want that consistent, perfect lawn, then you're gonna have to spend a little bit of time doing this. Ooh, excuse me, like I said, it's a great little project just to kill some time, but uh, right now the wife's gone. She's out doing something for four or five hours today. The girls and I, the girls and I are out here working, so they're having a blast just sitting around looking at bugs and look at birdies. Did you see a birdie, Linda? Did you see a birdie? Did you see a birdie? Hey guys, and so anyways, I'm gonna be doing an update a little bit later on and showing you the results of this. So make sure you click the subscribe button. And then after you click the subscribe button, go to our channel and click the little bell next to where it says subscribed. And what that does is that alerts you when this idiot puts out a new video. So you'll understand, so you'll know when they come out. Hope it helps, Doc. How you doing?